first thing that I'm going to go through is to do with the need of bread and cakes. You're like, what? Right, do you know this? It was back in the sixth, literally the sixth century, nuts, where this all started. And that is because of the, the joys of the Greeks and, um, and then into the Romans. So they're literally from the sixth to the twelfth century. Um, and I'm going to very quickly take you through. I'm going to show you from now on different images and larger you can see and just general stories as well. So you're now not going to see my face. So bye and bye from Chick here. And you will see me at the end and I'll just come back. So that's it from seeing my face and I'll move on. So here we go. So what have you sp sp spotted? So the first thing um, was, as I said, like the need of bread and cakes. If it was down to the Greeks, so the Greeks ran a comp competition and from that competition, they realized, win it, we should be logging down the different designs of different food. So what they did was they said to everyone, right, if you invent a new different type of bread and a different type of cake, you're going to get one year's worth of rights for your invention. That's nuts. That is in the sixth century. So of course, guess what? Everybody all came up with a load of cool different type of cake designs. Um, and then same with your different breads, whether they were knotted or they were like raised buns, whatever they might be. And it was written down. Those names, I don't know whether or not they're actual individuals or streets or something but that's what it became so once it came from that as you know the rest is history so that's what happened but you can really imagine well I could anyway as soon as I was looking at this like I I've got the hot cross bun no I've got the hot cross bun and all those things um and well I've got it and I can imagine as well like I don't know I don't even know in Greece if they have a town fryer but if they did having somebody there reading out like I like to awardly win that the following Greek cakes and pastries have made it through to IP that's where it started after that the idea of things being exclusive sort of came in. It's like, if I have, it's mine. That's something that hit true of what I was facing of now as well. So that sort of looked at another different property of who is the person who has the rights for. And this is an awful lot of the intellectual property of where things get confused. And that's what I sort of spotted.